Hi guys, welcome to my first Halloween decor do-it-yourself tutorial. Um, I am big into crafts, so I thought I would start doing uh, decor tutorials as far as Halloween for right now. So I'm just using this matte black spray paint that I picked up from Home Depot to go ahead and spray paint the items that I'm going to be using, which are the bats that I got from Dollar Tree and the wreath form. Um, you don't have to spray paint if you don't want. I just wanted an all black matte look. Um, so I went ahead and spray painted everything. You see a couple other things in this video, but that's not for this tutorial. I'm working on other projects. I'm going to go ahead and flip the reform upside down just like this so that it will hold the tea lights when you put the tea lights on. Everything I got is from Dollar Tree with the exception of the zip ties and the spray paint. You can get the zip ties from Dollar Tree, um, but I just got the very large pack from Home Depot because I thought it would be more bang for my buck, and I'm going to be using zip ties a lot this season. So I'm just going to go ahead and take these handcuff chains that I picked up from Dollar Tree, cut off one side because you only need one handcuff on there, and then I'm just going to put the other ones to the side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zip tie those with small zip ties onto the wire frame. The wire frame has lines going across the circle to like divide the reform into sections, so I'm going to use those lines as a guide. I'm going to go ahead and put this one on one of those lines, and I'm going to put the zip tie on each side of that wire line and I'm gonna show it a little closer so you see what I'm talking about so you see how the zip ties on one side of the wire and the zip ties on the other side of the wire um, you just want it like that so that way when you tighten everything the handcuff is not going to slip and move around um, so that wire in between is gonna be like the stabilizer so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there and then put the other three I am not tightening the zip ties right now I'm gonna wait to do that until I zip tie them all together and I like how it looks and then I can zip tie it tighter it's just a pain when you zip tie everything uh, tight and then you figure out you don't like it and then you have to cut everything off so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other two and I'm going to take uh, a large zip tie hold all the chains up together and zip tie the top loops together and then you can use that zip tie from the top to hang the chandelier wherever you want so I just have a hook on the ceiling which is where I put my chandelier um, I'm making this for my bedroom I have like a whole witchcraft sort of theme in my bedroom going um for halloween so i'm just gonna go ahead and zip tie these together once i like how it looks i'm gonna go ahead and tighten the bottom handcuffs Alright, so now I'm moving on to the bats. The bats are perfect because they have these little feet that hang on whatever you want, which is exactly what gave me this idea to do the chandelier. I wanted them to be hanging. Um, 
So I'm just going to go ahead and position them on there. At first I thought I might only use three, but I didn't really like the way it looked, so I decided to use all four instead. Again, I'm using the wires um, as a guide to the placement, so I'm making sure to put them directly across from each other um, and making sure to space them out evenly. And then once I like how it looks, I'm going to go ahead and set the reform down on the table, um, but have it hanging off a little bit uh, so you can hang a bat and be able to zip tie their feet to the wire. You definitely don't need to zip tie the bat if you don't want to. I wanted to so it could be a little more secure and I don't have to worry about um, my hubby possibly hitting his head on the chandelier and the bat coming flying off because he is about a foot taller than me. Um, so I just wanted everything to be secure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and zip tie the little tiny feet on there, not putting it too tight. Um, and I'm going to do it to the other side and then I'm going to do it to each one of the bats. All right, so I brought you in a little closer so you could get a better view of exactly how I'm zip tying the feet to the uh, wreath form. I'm just gonna wrap it around the wire and the foot and securing it. Once I like how it is, I'm gonna go ahead and clip off the excess with a nail clipper. I always use a nail clipper to clip off my zip tie excess because I feel like it cuts a lot, lot closer than scissors. Scissors kinda uh, leaves that sharp edge sticking out sometimes. So I just like this better, but you can definitely do whatever you feel comfortable with. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off all the excess zip tie areas and move on to my tea lights. For my tea lights, I got the battery operated ones from Dollar Tree. They come two in a pack, so I only needed three packs. And I'm going to put one in each one of those divided sections on the wreath form. Um, you could definitely splurge and get the uh, remote activated tea lights. I think I've seen that on Amazon for around uh, $20 or so, but this works for me. I was looking for budget friendly options, so this is perfect. Uh, and because the reef, I'm sorry, because the chandelier is not too, too tall, when I hang it up, I'm able to just uh, lift my hand up and just get a tea light and switch it on and just put it back. Um, but of course, if you don't want to be doing that, you could definitely splurge and get the remote operated ones. But this is what it looks like when it's done. I love how it came out. It was perfect as far as what I envisioned in my head. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please support the channel by giving it a like. Subscribe if you have not. Comment. I like reading comments. Um, and I have another do-it-yourself tutorial coming up. And my Halloween makeup videos start in October as well. So there's a lot to look forward to. As always, guys, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it and have a great day.